obviously all in self-quarantine because self-quarantine is the thing to do around the world. So we're going to be COVID-19. So I decided it might be fun to buy some MREs. Everybody says, oh, if the big pandemic's going to hit, well, we got MREs. So I bought some official surplus MREs. This one is menu number 14, creamy spinach fettuccine, egg noodles, spinach, mushroom, and cheese in a cream sauce. And I'm going to see how it works. Um, their official Department of Defense, you can see that here. And I've already opened it up. It's interesting, you have to, you can open it up with your bare hands. It's kind of tough, but you have to do it right in the middle. There's like one little um, wax seal. If you get it right there in the wax seal, then you can open up. So I'm going to turn the camera around and let's see what's inside of this MRE menu number 14. Okay, so I opened up this MRE and they gave me a spoon. It looks like I have some condiments in here. Um, they gave me coffee. I'm not going to drink that. Some dairy mixed stuff, some sugar, some gum maybe. They gave me peanut butter. They gave me some crackers, some hot sauce, some pretzels, first struck strike chocolate flavor energy bar. Okay, I'll try that. Um, I have some chocolate protein drink powder, natural and artificial flavor. So... I think I'm supposed to put some hot water in there and mix it up, or maybe without hot water. I'll figure that out. Got this. This is kind of cool. This is one of those air action heater things, which I think I'm supposed to use. Okay, so this says hot beverage bag, so I'm supposed to use hot beverage water in there, so I'll do that. Um, some kind of cover. Looks like the kind of covers that you use for... A hot pocket and then I guess this is the hot pocket I think this is the this bag has the creamy spinach fettuccine so and I think I'm supposed to somehow use this and this and this together to heat it up so I'm gonna figure that out and I'll be back when I get some water together Okay, so I went crazy and decided to read the instructions, and I think I got it. I think I'm supposed to tear off this part right here, then fill it up to water here, then put this bag into here, then fold over here, and then cover it up with this cover thing. And then 10 to 15 minutes later, it should be hot. And I should be able to eat it. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to go get some waters because I can't really do that with two hands. I need Well, I need two hands to do that. And then I'll come back and you can see how it's working. So I put water in it. And I don't know if you can hear it, but it's starting to bubble. It got pretty hot pretty fast. And so it's in there right now. I didn't want to touch it since it was getting hot. I didn't have a rock like it said to use, so I'm using my pillow here. And hopefully it heats up in 10 minutes and we'll try it. Meanwhile, while that's going, I'm going to now try to mix this thing. I think what I'm supposed to do is tear off this tab here to open it. There's a um, little... I fill up the water here, close it again here, mix it up, and in about a minute I'll get chocolate protein drink, drink mix powder. So that's what I'm going to try next while my thing is going. I'm going to go get some water and we'll try that. Okay, so I went ahead and put water in this and I've been squeezing it like this a lot harder than this. I've been squeezing this a lot for about a minute and I think I could just drink it out of the top here if I wanted to, but... What I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in this Mickey cup. I know, that's really man. That's a really army guy for me, right? Put it in a Mickey cup so that I can see, show you what it looks like. So I'm going to put this down and then I'll show you what it looks like once it's in the Mickey cup. After I've shaken it all about for over a minute now. So hopefully you can see what this is looking like. Looks okay. Looks pretty chocolatey to me. 
We'll see how this tastes. I think I got all of it out. It's kind of hard to do this with one hand. Okay, let's see how this works. Let's seal this back up so I don't make a mess. Okay, so I'm now going to try my chocolate protein mix here. It's actually not bad. It's pretty good. It's kind of like a milkshake. So that's pretty good. I like it. It's good. I could totally drink that. That would be a great meal. So this is the chocolate milk drink, and it's pretty good. You know, it's pretty good. Okay, so we're still waiting for our creamy... What is this again? The creamy spinach fettuccine over here. And this thing is hot. I can't really touch it much. That thing is definitely cooking now. Um, but while that's going, and I've just had my chocolate protein, I think I'll try... Um, now we got to try the energy bar last. I think we'll have some crackers and some peanut butter. So let's try the crackers and the peanut butter and see how that tastes. So I was able to tear into these crackers that were really heavily sealed. And it looks like you get like two big crackers. Or if you wanted to, you could get them down into eight little crackers. So when you pull them out, they kind of look like this. They don't come out exactly right. And I think what I'm going to do... Is I'm gonna just tear off the top of this peanut butter thing and see if I can smear it on so let's see if I can do that so I was able to tear off the corner here of my peanut butter and just with the peanut butter package smear it onto these crackers and I'm going to try it and see what it tastes like okay I'm gonna now try the peanut butter with crackers first I'm gonna just nibble a little bit of the cracker to see what the cracker tastes like by itself It's good. No salt on it whatsoever. But it it's good. It's crunchy. Peanut butter is good. That's good peanut butter. I like this meal so far. This meal is pretty good. Crackers and peanut butter. Um, apparently our army is eating pretty good because this is good stuff. Also got a little peanut butter. It was probably these pretzels so I'm gonna open up these pretzels and see if I can dip some peanut butter into that pretzels and peanut butter sound pretty good to me so this is even easier I got them open they open up from the side and you can see you can see they're straight pretzels and so that's actually pretty easy I can just take one of these pretzels which I'm gonna take right now they're straight little pretzels and eat them they have a little bit of salt on them but not much. Maybe the salt fell out in the package. Not much. There's actually not much salt in these package. But what's really good is if you open up your peanut butter, which I'm going to do. I'm going to pause so I can open up my peanut butter more. So I love how these things are designed because you can open up your peanut butter a little bit more. And you can just dip the peanut butter, the pretzel into the peanut butter like that, like a pretzel stick. And that is like... Really good. That is good. Peanut butter and pretzels. They they know what I like to eat, so that's good. So I'm gonna eat some more pretzels and some more peanut butter. And this thing is super hot now, um, which is interesting because they also give you this bag that you can like make hot water out of. So I think you can still use that thing even after the MRE is done. But they give you coffee in here, and I don't drink coffee, so they also I just got into the condiment bag, and I thought that be interesting what's interesting is I just thought it was coffee and tea but you it's actually you do get coffee this is coffee um this is creamer but you get salt sugar some matches some toilet paper <laughs> that's that's valuable commodity it's like compressed toilet paper some gum and a little toilet to wash your hands with and of course you still have the spoon and the hot sauce here so I'm gonna try that okay it has been 10 minutes now, and I'm about to get out this MRE out of the package. This package is very hot. If I go any lower than here, I can definitely feel it. I'm going to need two hands to take it out carefully because it's so hot and try to take it out and maybe dry it a little bit so I don't burn my hands. So I need two hands for that, so I'll come back in just a second. 
this heating element is still very hot. It's still boiling. I'm going to use it as kind of like a warming plate. Um, there are tabs on the top, so I think I need to like tab it off along here. I've kind of mixed it in a little bit. So I noticed that one side was hotter than the other side, which is fine. Um, and so I'm going to open up and see how it looks. Okay, so I open it up. This is the cheese and spinach fettuccine. Not too bad. Looks pretty good. And I'm going to taste it to see how it tastes. Okay, I have my chicken, not chicken, my creamy spinach fettuccine. I'm going to try it now. Let's see how it tastes. It's pretty good. Not my favorite noodles ever, but not bad. It's creamy. Uh, has a lot of good spices in it. I'm going to actually try the hot sauce in there. I think that might liven it up a little bit. I think it's a little bit bland without hot sauce. So let's try this hot sauce. I'm just going to tear off. I'm putting that in there right now. Yeah, that's like Tabasco sauce. Not too hot, but that should freshen up. I'm going to need another hand here, so I'm going to try it again with the Tabasco sauce. But yeah, I tried it again with the Tabasco sauce. It's definitely better with the Tabasco sauce. It was way too bland with just the thing. And I don't know if you can see this, but it's still steamy. It's still hot. I'll try to get a close up. So this is the heating element, which is still working. Still hot. I could still make a hot beverage with that. And you can see it's still steaming. It's hot here. Um, and I've got my Tabasco filled creamy fettuccine. It's pretty good. So far, this meal is filling me up. I don't think if I was going to do this, I would eat all of it at the same time. There's a lot of calories in this meal, but got to try it all. Um, I'm going to finish eating my fettuccine, and then I'm going to try some of that chocolate flavor energy bar. But only a little bit because I'm getting full now. I just finished my noodles, which I put the hot sauce in, and that was really good. I wouldn't say it was like the best home cooked meal ever because it definitely wasn't but it was good it was if i had to live off of that for several years that would be good and so now for dessert i have this chocolate flavor first strike nutrition energy bar and i'm gonna see if it's any good and if not i still have ice cream in my freezer so that's what i'll eat if i don't like this um but i'm also getting kind of full right now Okay, so this is what it looks like when it comes out of the bag. Looks like a standard, looks like the kind of energy bar that you would eat for like when you're running a marathon or something like that. Kind of tastes it. Kind of like got crispy, crunchy things in it. That's okay. But it's definitely not a candy bar. But. If I look at the calorie content on this thing, yeah, this little bar has 280 calories. So that is like the amount of calories of a candy bar. Um, that's good. I think I still want ice cream because that's better. But so my final thoughts on this is, oh, I should probably eat the gum. Where did I put the gum? There's the gum. I got to try the gum, right? I gotta say, I tried the gum. Gum is basically chiclet gum. Good. But just chiclet gum. So, my conclusions. So, the MRE, meal number 14, is good. Could I survive? Definitely, definitely would survive on MRE number 14. Would I want to eat this the rest of my life? Probably not. I would wish that I could get a home-cooked meal, but if this is all I had, this would be great. I could definitely, for months and months, maybe even a year, live on these things. I hear, like, you can buy a box and they have, like, four different menus in them. And this one was so far great, so I'll have to try another one. Let me know if you like this video. If you do, leave a comment below and I'll make another one. Or leave a comment that you hate this video and I'll never make another one again. And... Hopefully you like the videos. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.